So this is a really interesting tool that I made. As you can see, there's a cut right here. There's a cut right here. What this is is actually a valve removal tool. It's not as easy to use as does valve spring compressors, but if you don't have one, and you have a piece of, uh, in case I used a bar here, uh, an old breaker bar, I used a piece of um, three quarter inch pipe, as it looks, and uh, just cut a notch in here. You want steel pipe, and usually you can find them laying around and stuff, and just cut a notch in it. You can usually use a, uh, you can use a bench grinder. This red, I'm just going to clean up this hole here. And I'll show you how it works. Personally, I'm cheap and I try to make as many tools as I can, but I still think I should get a new valve spring, spring compressor tool. So, anyways, so what it does is I'm just going to kind of temporarily set this back together. Then you got these two clips in here, or these two retaining clips, and uh, what happens is, is when you push down, you set this up on top here, and you push down, and as you're pushing down, you go in there, and the retaining clip will pop up, and you just go lift, go right underneath the retaining clip with a flat tip screwdriver, bring that up, and just set it up on the top there. Now this is this was very difficult to use with this engine, but I can guarantee you, a lot of the smaller engines, such as the, like the six horsepowers and stuff, they have smaller valve springs and stuff, and it should be much easier. So, and then you just lift that one up. Once they're up in there, you slowly bring up. Don't just let it fly off because everything's gonna fling everywhere. You just slowly bring up, let go, and pull back, and this whole thing will pop out and your valve will come out. That's all that holds them in. As you can see, these valves are both polished up. Well, with just a wire wheel over here. That's what I do. And then I just get some of the valve compound and the little suction cup type things and they stick on here. What you just do is you just go in and out, in and out, in and out. And you grind that up and you'll hear grinds that smooth so that way you see correctly. So, Anyways, these right here. Don't want to lose these little clips. I'll show you. Take a look. There's a bunch of carbon buildup in this one. This one's kind of clean. Well, this isn't as the uh, intake valve. Intake valve's always a little bigger. And this one's the exhaust valve. So there's the exhaust, and here's the intake. This is a crossbow cylinder head, as you can see. Well, sort of, anyhow. And this is overhead valve engine, of course. Flatheads, the valves would be sticking inside the cylinder, so it would actually be more like this here. Only, of course, it wouldn't be anything like that, but it would be like that. That's a flathead. This is overhead valve. So there's the difference between that. So I just wanted to show you guys this interesting tool that I made. It's about the second most easiest trick that I know of getting out the valve springs if you don't want to go out and try to find a valve spring tool. If you only want to do just like a single job, just take a piece of uh, three quarter inch tubing and this will just get the job done. I am going to say I didn't put the valves in back, but I think they may be a little bit harder because you're going to have to try to balance the spring and stuff. But this will do the job if you're only going to do one or so jobs. But if you're going to do many, I'd just go out and get a valve spring compressor. But this probably the easiest way. I've done screwdriver tricks before. It's hard and stuff. I think the most easiest way I ever had experience was valve spring compressor, but this will do the job. So just make yourself. It's real easy. You can just do what I did. Grind it out on here. Or take a die grinder. Uh, can't really use a torch to cut one of them, but you can do a uh, plenty of different things and grinding wheels is the best I think so make sure it's steel and stuff and it's gonna be fairly thick so that way you can open this up without these spreading apart and breaking so that's how it's done and uh, please rate comment and subscribe